Hello everybody. Muzzle Mike here. We're out in the garage today. It is actually in the 50th slip. We made it. Really pretty rainy outside. Windy outside. Yeah. I could be out riding, but I decided to take today, and since it's warmer out in the garage, get some uh, clean up work. And I'm not just talking in the garage. The uh, goat got a lot of wiring up in the uh, front fairing that has been added through the years and uh, I noticed a couple of the connections were turning a little green. They're supposed to be copper or not be able to see it at all. But this is an example. I mean I don't have nothing wrong with these. These are actually pretty cool little little nifty things to have. They all you do is just turn it and your wire goes in through the hole. You turn it and locks in. It does happens both sides. Matter of fact, uh, NT8 probably recognizes this. This is from the goat. But bad thing about it, they are not weather. They don't hold up to the weather as well as one would hope to do it to. And uh, green wires are going into it. So I just disconnect it. I'm gonna trim back the wires, even though I probably could get away with cleaning it. I'm gonna trim them back, clean them up real good. Uh, solder them up real good, put some heat shrink on it, hopefully never have to worry about them again. Well, never is a long time, but hopefully you don't have to worry about them for a long time. And along top of that, I've got a, uh, hold on, you know what, I'll just switch you over cameras real quick and uh, I'll show you my other thoughts and ideas. Okay everyone, this is me coming back at you. You can see down in here, I can't really see too well. That's the wire I actually started turning green, but you can't really see the no lack of light, I'm sorry about that. But you see there's a lot of wires down underneath here. I'm going to clean up a good part of them. Because uh, this is my idea. And that, that connection really shouldn't be there, but... That one, that blue one right there, should not be there, but... We'll fix her up. You take a look at these. I'm on the upper dash here. Up on the upper dash here. I've got the 12 volt outlets. There's cigarette, just plain cigarette, like... Waterproof cigarette outlets. I'm going to a light there. You can see. Well... Those are on all the time. You can see my, the key's not in the ignition if I go down here. And uh, this is my adapter I have for my USB chargers. It's on. Yeah, I would like to have one of these on full time, but right now, I mean, it's not really necessary. I've actually kept on this wire tie. I was dumb as heck. I had this plugged in line like that, just like that, and the light was on. Didn't really pay attention too much when I got off the bike, and uh, I sat. Let us sit the bike to go sit for about a week. Well, after about a week, the battery is dead. That's why I would like to have it shut off with the key. That's why. If you look at if you look at my older videos. Oh, not too long ago. Oh, this one for a few, several months. Underneath the seat, I added a uh, relay. The relay I put in the place was a 40 amp relay. Kind of robust for having just my heated grips, which the heated grip switches right here. Um, way overkill for the heated grips. I do have everything on uh, a fuse, an inline fuse, just like this one right here. But so, uh, I do. The only things on the relay right now is the uh, the heated grips, uh, which which the heated grips is way overkill for 40 amp. I mean, 40 amp relay is way overkill for the grips. Sorry about that. So what I'm thinking is, you know what? For now, I mean, all I, all I do with these uh, 12 volt outlets is charge things and uh, I mean they don't pull the wide charge normally doesn't pull a lot of amps or anything so why not I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the wires down to which is actually this wire down here which you can't well you can see a little bit you can see the green a little bit too but anyway I'm gonna transfer it down to that wire which is plenty heavy for what I need to run uh, plus the heated grips so that way the 12 volt outlets will be on the key basically going through the relay 
which, I mean, if you think about it, the code has three wires for right now coming from the battery up to the front. And uh, the three wires were basically for different things. Um, one was for the heated grips, one was for the 12 volt outlets, and one was for a set of fog lights that NT8 had on this bike. The fog lights are long gone, so that was what it needed. That's disconnected, it's sitting underneath the tank. The uh, heated grips was run underneath the tank, so I got two wires right underneath the tank. Tested both out, no, uh, they're not grounding out on anything, so everything's good underneath the tank. In fact, whenever I had the tank off, everything was looking pretty good. But, but the one thing that always did stick out if you just look really close, and a couple people noticed it whenever I was out and about, is, uh, let's see if we can see it right there. Let's see, that right there. let's see if we can see that right there. Uh, light's not quite right. That's okay. You can catch a little bit right there. Right there, better. There's a wire coming out outside the tank. That actually goes up through, through here, car up through here, sneaks around and goes up through here, and that goes to the outlets. Not needed. Not needed. Everything looks cool. I'm gonna put those outlets up on a, up on here, up through the relay there. That'll work just fine for what I need for now. But in the future, what I'll do, these out, these outlets are actually wired together behind the dash. What I'll do is separate them in the future. So I like to have one on all the time and have that wired in pretty heavy. That, that'll be like for if I need a jump starter or something, I can plug it in. I got I actually got a uh, I got uh, jumper cables that work that way. So what I'll do is I'll wire that in later on to where it's full, and then at that time I will make sure the wire is run underneath the tank. Because the one that's underneath the tank right now, that was for the lights, it, it, that's inadequate for that. You really do should have the heavier wire for the heated grip, for, I mean for the jumping. That will get pulled out, the tank will be removed, and I'll get it pulled out, and we'll have fun with that in the future. But that'll be in the future. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty cool right now. Uh, but this will never happen again. Even if I leave it for a week. It won't die. You wouldn't think that little bad little light would kill anything, but after a week, it kill anything, I guess. But uh, a little bit of salt cleanup, solder, heat shrink, and uh, yeah, I would uh, prefer to put some plugins right now in, but I don't have any uh, weather tight plugs in, on hand, so we're going to skip that for now. Come back to that later after I get some water tight plugs and do it up so I can, don't have to uh, cut anything to remove the front cowl. I just unplug and pull. Pull the cowling. Which you can tell right here, cowling does need some attention. I'm going to try to figure out how to rebuild that or I'm going to probably just replace that front cowl. It's not, I mean it's not It's not an issue right now. It's it's cool for right now. One thing at a time. We're getting her done and getting her done good. Goat's coming together. It's always not been in bad shape. But uh, I'll, sh I'll click you back, I'll get back on whenever I get this all done. Okay everybody, just give you an idea what's going on here. You might recognize this if you go through my other videos. This is my uh, 40 amp relay I get put it on. You see it connects here to the wiring harness to the lights. If you watch my video on that, you can tell you, that t explains to you how it's wired in. Okay, you see the wire here, comes through here, got the yellow, that's the one I joined off to. Um, that goes to the front. I removed the other, if you looked at my other videos, there was a, a thinner red one and a heavy duty red one. They're gone. Same, the heavy duty one's the same thickness as this, what I use for my relay. Gone, for now. I got that run up. You really can't see too well, but you can get an idea. The one's up through here, just on the side of the frame, underneath the tank. I got it coming up through, underneath the cowling. Okay, splits off underneath the cowling. I got two uh, inline fuses. I gotta mark those yet. But after those two inline fuses, you get the two wires come up through the, up, the, up through there. One's for the heated grips, and the other one's for the 12 volt outlets. Should be plenty for what I run for charging. Uh, won't be good, no good for jump starting or anything. But hey, that that works. That works for me. But you can see. 
I've got this all the way pushed in. There's a little light on there, shows you it's activated. And whenever I turn the key, the key's off right now. Turn it on, of course the lights are on. And you see the lights on there. It's on and off with the ignition now. No dead batteries if I forget it on. And uh, whenever I get done cleaning up, right now you see there's a red, little, red wires there. I'm gonna clean that up. I got it going in behind the gauges. And down through what you see is from me just, I just got done. Connected everything. Now, I did do something that I don't normally do. I really don't care to do, but uh, I wanted to save myself some work in the future. I had some of these, uh, let me see if I can find them around here. Oh, do, 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 do. They're over on the other side. Well, anyway, you got the, uh, the, the crimp on style. Hold on a second. Let me just, I'll start. Okay. All my connections so far, as you can see, my soldering iron's out. It's actually pretty warm. Got my solder out. Cleaned them up. The way you see the black tape is because of this. See these crimp on connections, connectors, spade connectors, and there's a couple other ones in there. I don't care for those. I really don't. There's nothing wrong with them for running dash, but anything that's going to be seen dampness or uh, anything like that, they're going to corrode. I've had too many troubles with them. I like the waterproof connectors. And if I can't, if I don't use those, I'll go ahead and solder them and use shrink tube. What shrink tube is, is it's, it's just like an, you put another coating on, covering over the wire after you solder it and it keeps it on. But even then, whenever I use shrink tube, I use black tape on the ends or take a little bit of uh, silicone and do on the end. Yeah, just smear on very close and just make sure the dampness ain't going to go down through there. Now, what I did. I use these to connect the connect the uh, wires up to the uh, inline fuses. Why? Because I wanted to make make it so I can pull this cowling off. Just unbolt it, do come do a couple plugs, pull it off. I want to do that. I mentioned that in my other vid beginning of this video. What I'm going to do, what I did what I did instead of having to cut the wires and everything else. I just put those crimpons. The crimpons actually, they're so junk, I can actually pull them off if I really wanted to with a pair of pliers. I'll just pull them off and I'll use the ends for and redo do it with the, uh, the, the, the waterproof plugs. That way I'm all taken care of. There is no, no messing with cutting wires or I have to worry about it whenever I, if I have to pull the front cowling off, which may be done in the future. Who knows? Which. If you look down on here, you'll see some wires over here. That wiring right there is for the uh, heated grips. Nothing you can really do too much about that. They're there for there to do for its purpose. What I want to do is tuck them back, clean them up as much as best I can, give them a new all their new home and everything else. And this wires over here will be tucked back and uh, put in give them a new home too, because that is actually run up back behind the the gauge section there. But that's how I did it. That's how I want to do it. And what I'm going to do next time is I want to, well, next time I dip into the wiring on this, I think I'm going to pull the tank off and everything. Run a brand new wire from the battery. Put a fuse on it, of course. Then run it up and hook it into this outlet. Why do I want to do that? Because I want one outlet on all the time and the other one on with just the key. That because I normally just use this one all the time. This one will be like for my jump starting if I need it or whatever. Or if I just want to plug something in for a short period of time while the goat's just sitting there with the key on. That's I can use that. But this way I don't forget. The old man's getting a, a feeble memory on him, I guess. And uh, don't forget to leave the stuff on to run the battery dead. That's how I'm gonna run the relay. The wiring out to get this uh, cleaned up. It wasn't for just to clean up the wires though. It was what this was for was to clean up the corrosion, corroded connections. And since it's uh, cord clamped, cord I'm already in there. Why not go ahead and clean up some wires? Remove some wires. I ain't saying the goat lost a couple pounds or anything, but it'll make a couple ounces maybe. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to let you guys go, I'll finish up the goat here, getting some grub wind to me, and uh, wish you guys all a great day, great riding days. i got some warm weather coming up here soon. Uh, drop back down, it's actually said in the 50s today, so drop down cold tomorrow. 
but bounce back up. Either way, it's damn days. The next three, two, three days is supposed to be wet and nasty and everything. Gives me some time to work on the wet goat. I could ride in, but why? No wonder I can just take the time, fix the goat, get her back on, get her on back on the road like nobody ever knew about it. So for you guys that watch this video, this muzzle mic, ride safe, ride like you're invisible. And uh, like I said, oh, let's try to say, keep your all gear all the time. I mean, I do with what I got, what I got, and uh, I do wear them. Um, but this is Muzzle Mike saying thank you for watching my videos. Uh, if you haven't, hey, uh, like, subscribe, comment. I, if you don't, you know, I hate to say this because I, I mean, I, I, I don't like the, the thumbs down. But if you don't like it, thumbs down me. You know what I mean? But um, that's the facts. Uh, yeah, have a great day. This is Muzzle Mike. Signing out.